So this is another example of um, torsional shearing stress. So we have a copper pipe with an outer diameter of 40 mm and inner diameter. So we've designated the outer as the larger D, the uppercase D and then you have the smaller D for the inner diameter. It's tightly secured to the wall at A, so this is the wall. And then we have given uh, three given torques which are applied as shown. And then we're going to determine the absolute maximum shear stress developed in the pipe. So for hollow pipes, uh, our shear stress equa equation is uh, like this. So we have 16 T D divided by pi D4 minus D D4. So we are given with the diameter which is, uh, this is 40, this is uh, 37, but what we lack now is the torque, no? And in this case, since we're going to find the maximum um, shearing stress, we're also going to find the maximum torque in the copper pipe, no? So how do we find the maximum, um, maximum torque? We just have to cut sections. So for example, if we cut here, we consider this one, this is one, one, and then the next is we cut here, and then we name it to section 2-2. Two, two. And then the last is uh, when we cut here, at section AA. So, uh, so that um, we'll find the largest internal torque or moment caused by the applied external torques. So, uh, considering uh, section 1, section 1 dash uh, 1, so we have, we have a 80 kilonewton, a uh, 18 newton, so we have a resisting moment here, which is also equal to 80 Newton meter. So at uh, section 2 dash 2, we will have this is the shaft. So, so you won't be confused, this is the shaft. So you will have an 80 Newton. You have another one in the opposite direction. And then you have, of course, uh, the internal moment, which is uh, in this direction. Because uh, 80 is larger than 20, so probably the torque here is the uh, same direction as 20. No? Because uh, it will help the 20 uh, torque resist the 80 newton, uh, newton meter torque. So our torque here is just equal to 80 minus 20. So is equal to 16 newton meter. Now, so far, our uh, larger torque is uh, 18 compared to the 16. So proceed with the uh, section AA. So we have, we have here 80. And then we have 20. And then we have 30. And then this is the internal, so we have 80, 30, so probably our internal torque here is uh, directed in that direction and torque is equal to, we have 80 plus 30 minus 20, so 80 and 30 in, in the same direction, so we have 80 plus 30 minus 20, so our torque here, 110 minus 20, that's 90. So the largest torque is uh, developed in the section AA. Uh, we, we cannot make use the, the right portion here because we don't know the reactions uh, present at the, at the wall. So that's why we made use of the free end or the left portion to determine the maximum torque. So to solve for the maximum shearing stress or the maximum uh, torsional shearing stress, we will use the 90 Newton 
meter. So, just plug in the values. We have 16 times 90 uh, Newton meter times the diameter, which is equal to 40. And then we just have to convert meter to millimeter. So, 1 meter is uh, 1,000 mm. So, this one cancels with this one. And then you have pi d4 is uh, 40. And then you have the small d, we have 37. Then the unit is mm4. So, we have this one, this one cancel, and then what we, uh, what's left in the denominator is uh, mm squared. So we have Newton per mm squared or mega pascals. So we just have to plug in 16 times 90 times 1000 divided by pi times 40 raised to the 4 minus 37 raised to the 4. Am I correct? 37 raised to the 4 and then you have shear stress is 66.83. Um, we'll just review your answers. 40, 37, 40, it's divided by, I don't know, we missed the 40 earlier. So 60 times 90 times uh, 40 times 1,000 divided by pi times 40 raised to the 4 minus 37 raised to the 4. We have 26.73. Uh, Mega Pascals. So, this is the maximum um, torsional shearing stress on the copper pipe caused by your 90 newton meter internal torque present at this particular section. So that's it.